Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video, taking me guys another blind commentary, blind reaction, and today we're going to be checking out Redline, which is our January 2021, uh, sorry, 2022, weird to say that, January 2022 Patreon movie poll winning film. Um, it is almost certainly, barring a miracle, going to be Encanto um, next month, <laughs> unsurprisingly. <laughs> Uh, but we're doing Redline this month, which is a movie from 2009, if I'm not mistaken. And we're watching it in dubs. So we're going to be watching this in English. This is a bit of a rare anime film in English. Um, I did that with Summer Wars. I did that with Promare. But really, other than that, I pretty much almost always watch my anime films in Japanese. But when I hear a dub's pretty good for an anime film. Occasionally I'm like, you know what, let's take a swing at it. This is one of those that apparently has a pretty good one, so we are going to rock with the English voicing. It's also, I in general haven't really done much um, English voiced um, anime in a long time, really. Uh, so this is going to be one of those cases. I'm very excited for Redline. Um, I don't know anything about it, I really even title again, as with most of these, it's like, what can I base on the title? Red line. Um, it could have a medical theme because, you know, I think of like the, the, uh, the heartbeat kind of monitor. It's like, usually it's a red line. Um, but that's not, it's, it's rarely referred to as such if ever. So I doubt it, but that's the first thing that jumps to my head. I really have no idea. Um, it could be some light thing, but, you know, where it's like, I don't know, like a neon light or something. I'm just spitballing here. I have no idea what this film's about. I'm excited for it. Hopefully it's really good. Um, this is one of those movies that I know very little about, and by very little, I mean Diddly Squat. Now, now, to be fair, when I start a movie or a series on this channel, more often than not, I know either very little or nothing at all. Um, I actually just very, very, very recently recorded the first episodes of a new series that um, will not be will not be uh, showing up on the channel until probably in February, and um, I knew literally two things about it that really give me no idea really of what it's like, but I knew something. Like a lot of times with the films, I know literally nothing. Um, But I'm in a really good mood. My Raiders made it into the football playoffs over here in the States. For those of you in the States who watch football, you know what I'm talking about. I was hyped about that. And after this, it's weird because you guys will see that video. Uh, it's sec Technically, it's Monday morning. It's like 12, 1230, you know, in the morning, you know, night, whatever, on Monday. But after I record this, I'm going to finish my night. I'm going to do a little... Uh, studying for Attack, Attack on Titan, studying, and then I'm going to actually watch uh, the new episode of Attack on Titan, which I am stoked for. I'm so excited for that. The fact that Attack on Titan's back is so hype. And again, this will be the video after my return to Attack on Titan, but Attack on Titan videos will be coming out on Mondays moving forward, which is super exciting, hopefully for all of you, but certainly for me. Um, so yeah, I'm in a really good mood between... Between uh, my Raiders and Attack on Titans Return. It's a pretty hype day, but we're starting off the night again, even though this video will come out after. It's kind of weird. It's a voodoo magic, but we're starting off with Redline, and I'm hyped. I'm ready for a movie. You guys know um, I like my once a month movies, and I'm always hyped for when, it, when an anime film wins. I'm always excited to be immersed in an anime world, and I'm curious what this one's gonna be about, so let's not waste any more time. I'm, I've been messing with my camera angles a little bit. Lately, uh, my camera, I feel like my camera angles have gotten too high where my head is like almost going off the screen or my hair is like right on the top. So I've been messing with the angles a little bit so I appear more centered. Uh, and it looks really weird to me every time. I always feel like I'm way too low. Uh, but it, it always looks so, it's just the way the angle is and the way I have to angle my camera. It always looks so much better how it actually comes out compared to how I can see it right now. But, uh, so I have to get used to that. But, uh, anyways, let's jump into red line in three, two, one, and 
play. Also, as part of like 2022's debut, I've kind of decided to probably retire the January 7th being the typical day of the month that I usually do my movie reactions. Moving it a little closer to the middle of the month. It's on the 11th this month. I believe I'm going to do it on the 10th of February. But I'm kind of messing with different dates. Uh, Madhouse animated this. Interesting. Or at least were the lead studio. Let's see it. Okay. I already wish I had subtitles on. They're just giving us a bunch of kanji that I can't read because I don't have subtitles on. What the hell is that art style? Whoa. It is it, oh, it's a it's a dog person. I just heard red line is more popular than ever. Oh, so it's like a it was it's like a post apocalyptic racing movie. You think she's all that? I put mine on day one, bro. Oh, you're kidding. Come on, I can't. It's like all dog people. I might turn up the audio depending on I might turn it up. It's hard to tell. Yeah. What in the fuck? Oh shit. All of a sudden you got the, the, the engine screwing and I'm already regretting turning it up, but I think this is the right audio well. It's I'll probably have to compress the audio to in a certain way. I have to do that with a lot of my shows to balance so you guys can hear the voices more so than the BGM. The whole thing though. Alright, so who's gonna win this race? I'm down for racing anime. This art style is insane. Okay. God, why does this look so good? Sonoshi McLaren, huh? But Sonoshi McLaren, aka Cherry Boy Hunter, is still the leader. She's got her. I love how her name literally. I love how her name literally has McLaren in it. Oh, the race is called the Red Line. Coming along in third place, we have Red Line regulars count Mark Diane Spark in the Snakehead. In fourth place is Lynch Van's arch nemesis Psycho Man and his co-pilot Rotten in the Psycho Ride. Nice. And closing in on the leaders with only a 14 second gap, the second group of racers from Supergrass, a planet ruled by a princess with magical powers. Nice. Leaves the pack in her Firebird. She's got it. She looks in the God, these, these, these character designs are incredible. TV4. Bringing up the rear in seventh place, we've got Sweet JB driving his Trans Am. Dude, what is that guy's hair? I doubt JP is gonna be able to pull ahead. He's good. Someone's having doubts, huh? Oh shit. Hell, I'm just trying to keep this thing interesting. Oh Can't my god. Off like that. Nice. It's just a voice, pal. You don't know a damn thing about racing. Wow. God! Dude, a bunch of Japanese dudes and maybe some girls just nutted all and, 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 and or just generally came all over. What on earth? 
Why does this look so good? Oh my god, that guy's design. All of the like human looking characters, the two girls and the guy all look so cool. And now we're shooting missiles, oh boy. What is this, freaking Mario Kart? God damn. So it sounds like his name is JP. I would too. Why is she so pretty? Why does everyone look so cool? God damn. Man, what a move. Nice. What the hell? <laughs> he held back till the last quarter stretch, just like you said. He's the odds on favorite the closer he gets to the finish line. I hope for your sake, Frisbee, that everything's still hunky dory. Look, if there's anyone who can pull off a fix like this, it's JP, I promise. Besides, no one can beat him at Yellow Line, so it's all good. Sure, that's what you say. But if he's that good, don't you think he'd forget about our deal and try to win it? No, he wouldn't do that. If he wins, he qualifies for Red Line. So oh. how in the hell do you know he won't just blow us off and go ahead and try to win the whole damn thing? Well, that's just not gonna happen. Ah. I can guarantee that. Oh shit. So if he takes the lead or something, god damn! If he takes the lead or something, they're gonna like blow up his uh, blow up his car. Or the one guy is interesting. There's a lot of people. Oh, even her freaking weird. No, those aren't gears. Those are well. I guess in a sense they kind of are gears. Oh my God, she's driving on the water and sort of. Damn, damn, why do these girls look so sick? We're talking about vicious, holy shit. Uh-oh. Yeah, it looks like she's, uh, she's not out yet, but it looks like her chances of winning don't look very good. I don't know. It does seem like all these people are destined for hell. To have a need for speed that strong, you probably want to die. To go to hell one day driving a car. I tried to make that poetic. I tried to make like a joke. And not even a joke. That's honestly, especially if you go to old school racing. Unfortunately, a lot of the greatest racers did die in the car. us right into I guess the um, I guess the yellow line which is like the number two race I guess but they were talking about the red line but I guess it's a qualifier for the red line <laughs> oh my god yeah it's coming down to was it uh, JT and McLaren the JP and McLaren I don't think I need to remind you how bad it would be if JP won the syndicate doesn't like it when they take a big hit frisbee they hate it. Look, sir, they don't call the kid Sweet JP for nothing, know what I'm saying? And besides, if he can't pay back his bail bond, he's gonna go back to the joint. <sighs> yeah, I'm sure he's not up for that. I hope for both your sakes you're right about Sweet JP. Bidding's been locked by the bookies. How are we on JP? We dumped our bids at the last minute. Excellent. Well, Frisbee, looks like it's down to the wire now. We're gonna get to find out just how tight you and JP really are. Yep. 
And that's the thing, JP's gotta beat Sono C. McLaren anyways, even if he can beat her. Oh. Yep, there's even... Oh my god, this is as far as you can go, right? Good god, good god. Damn. I love how they all got their, like, crazy nitrous, like, super boost shit. Oh my god! What the hell? I love how they bounce around, like, how out of control they are and everything. It's great. She looks like she's about to come. What the hell? Let's see. There's the checkered flag. It's about to be waved. But who's it gonna wave for? Sweet JP or Sonoshi McLaren? Man, all these designs are so weird. I'm here for it. That car is about to fall apart. Oh my god. Yep. Yep. And it looks like he just took a dive. Oh my god. What the hell? Is she about to cross the finish line? Is she about to cross the finish line? Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Oh, that was so close. God, they timed that so well, even though he didn't plan to do that. Yep. God damn. Fuck, I hope he's okay. Holy fuck. That's... That was just the intro to the fucking movie. Now we're getting an OP? Are you shitting me? On the red line. That's so cool. So she's gonna be in the red line. That JP is gonna find his way into the red line anyways, obviously. And that race will be the climax of the movie, clearly. This is really cool. It's so simple and yet it's so beautiful. And there it is. Directed by Takeshi Nice. Shouts to the director. <laughs> That's really funny. Bunch of amateur assholes. You guys are the shittiest racers ever. <laughs> Come on guys, let's fail. Damn, those are some hotties, holy shit. It's almost like gives me JoJo vibes, the like, character designs. What in the fuck? That is just weird. What the hell? And he's like, I want to be that guy. That was... That was just weird. Very artistic, though. To the victor goes the spoils, so to speak, I suppose. As they say. Is that after the race? Man, those titties. Good for her. Yeah, very classic.
That's a lot of cigarettes. Holy shit. Even if it's both of your cigarettes. Hey. Damn. What do you want to talk about? Nah, you go first. I can wait. What do you want to say? Nah, after you. Nah, after you. <laughs> <laughs> These two. Old pals. I was just a Trans Am say... cost a fortune, didn't it? <sighs> you don't have the coin to put a machine like that together on your own. <clears throat> oh, oh. You knew what you were getting into, buddy. <laughs> now you're off the hook with your bondsman. This'll cover your hospital bill and keep you in bandages the rest of your life. Racers and mechanics got to stick together. Huh. We make a good team. He's his mechanic, Always huh? have. Call me when you want to get in the game again. Sounds good. We'd make a hell of a lot of money together, you know? <laughs> God damn, that catch. Holy you're shit. You're crazy? What the hell you think you're doing? I changed my mind. You can keep the money. You're telling me you suddenly got principles or something? Your bondsman ain't gonna like that. So they put me back in. I'm cool with that. I don't... God, all the, the media wants it. Come on, sweet JP, give me a big smile for all your fans. He's, so he got qualified for Redline somehow? I have somehow? no idea what you're talking about. I just got my ass kicked at Yellow. Hey, are you saying you don't know you're qualified? In an unbelievable turn of events, oh my god. And Shota Ojin have declined oh shit. This makes Blue Line champs Miki and Todoroki and JP, who race brilliantly at Yellow Line, the oh, shit. eligible for entry into competition at Red Line. Oh, 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 oh. They just announced the next venue for Red Line. It's gonna happen on Robo World. Robo World, huh? You gotta be shitting me. It's like destined to happen. I promise you that I will fight to keep Redline from entering our sector! How dare these criminals disturb our galaxy's order with their barbaric and immoral intentions! Wow. RoboWorld is a symbol of progressive humanity, whose only aim is to live progressive in Progressive humanity, the huh? I will never allow Robo this world. Redline scum entry into our sacred Seems home like a little bit of a... Any outsider who dares enter our territory will suffer death and destruction at our hands! Oh, oh just make the ref race even more sense. This happen on RoboWorld and your boy's eligible! Come on, you got to have a comment on that! Robo World's never gonna let it happen. Yeah, we know what is happening anyway. Wow. That's why Kuro Kuro doesn't. Shoto Ojin dropped out. That makes sense. They don't. They don't want to. Nobody wants to die. At the same time, I don't have the health plan or the balls to do anything that stupid. You know what I'm saying? Shogun's got a point. Besides, I'm a racer now, not a soldier, man, man. I don't want to die. Shit for real. Yeah. I must withdraw from the race. Robo World is a very important client for my kingdom. Besides, mm, I don't want to enough. die for a silly race. <laughs> they gave the audience a chance to vote for their favorite teams to replace the ones who decided to quit. Oh, he's got to be tempted. I mean, to be fair, you got what you wanted, and you can be in red life. And you can be in red line. Come on, JP, give us something. Oh, what the hell, Frisbee? Let's get that Trans Am up and running again. Oh my God, he uses a freaking. He uses a freaking blade to style his hair. Yeah, I'll give you a comment. Here, give me that thing. Robo World, here I come! There, that's all you need. To see a bunch of idiots get themselves killed. Nice. Violence nice. is the only thing that gets me hot anymore. Excuse me? Violence is the only thing that gets you hot anymore, huh? Approved. Yep. Attention, all passengers. Meanwhile, we we're heading to Robo World. What in the world is that? Was so wild. So I wonder how many people are in the uh, in this race. Thank you for choosing us as your mode of transportation and have a safe 
I wonder if it's gonna come down to him and McLaren. It's gonna be the two people that were racing in the yellow line, duking it out in the end. Because they seem to really emphasize her. Let me slow this thing down. Okay, where's the thing for the flag? This guy literally has uh, some of the best hair ever. It's like they took freaking um, Josuke and Mondo's hair and, and, and made it better. They are defying the orders of the government of Robo World. Oh this my aggression God. will not stand. Secretary Titan. Yes. You must have something to report. Let's have it. Sir, I've received a very interesting message from our scout vessels. Apparently, they've identified a group of ships that have landed on the surface of Europass. Europass, eh? Yes. Why did we ever give that rock to those malignant refugees? As you're aware, under the treaty we signed with the M3 Nebula Federation, Europass is a demilitarized zone. Our forces must tread carefully there. It's become a slum thanks to the refugees from nearby sectors, who have drifted in and decided to make it their home. Naturally, it's an ideal hideout I love for the of Red Line. Sure. That's what we get for being generous to those damn refugees! Those bastards! I wonder if this might be some kind of ploy by our enemies to infiltrate our borders. I highly doubt if it. If that's true, do you realize RoboWorld's military secrets could be at risk here? We'd be exposed! I cannot allow this rabble to desecrate our sacred homeland with their filthy sport! Mr. President! <sighs> Please, you must calm down. It's just a race. Mr. President, sir. What? You're not going to let them continue this race without retaliation, are you? I am the ruler of this planet. Anyone affiliated with Redline are guilty of violating my orders and will be hanged for their treachery. Goddamn. I represent the rule of law here, and it is my duty to enforce it. The universe needs a strong leadership. Robo World has always stood heroically by its principles. If you say so. We must stand proud and fight for what we know is absolutely right. Girl, yeah, we're gonna try and kill all the racers. Let's go! Sir, are you prepared to shed your blood for justice? Sir, to the last drop, sir. Good. Then How much blood do you actually have? Absolute justice and righteousness. Yes, sir. And thank you, sir. Robo justice, quite literally. <laughs> Oh my god, these little kids. Creepy looking bird kids over here. He actually doesn't really have much money. Not interested. What happened? Look, buddy. I'm not here to watch, so leave me alone, okay? Fucker! Hey! One, two, three, four. This is all I get. Hey, pal, are you sure about the exchange rate here? I. Yeah, give or take next in line, dammit! Give or take? What the hell? Hey, freaky! You guys should post a sign! You're so annoying! <laughs> Wow. I don't know what that reminds me. That actually reminds me of multiple different like movies and shows where it's like you're exchanging the money or whatever yes. or Can the I get some smokes. You got any money? Yeah, you know it. Just cashed in and living large. Give me whatever this gets. Here. You're about to give like fucking like twenty fucking Huh? Wait. This thing's been open. Hey, what's the deal, Grandma? I want a new pack. You can't just take my money. Back up! You don't like it? Leave it! Cool. Just leave the pack and walk away! Man, everyone's tripping over here. You're about to weirdly spark a revolution, aren't you? Damn, she fell asleep, too. Did he grab, like, a couple packs on the way out? What a weird bike. That's sick, though. You never driven anything like that before. Good from here. All right. You better not. Let's rock and roll. Oh God, he's just gonna freaking go fly into. He's like, oh yeah, let's fly. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, I can see that being pretty fucking fun. 
Not that I've ever driven a motorcycle before. But I could see that being fun for sure. Especially for a thrill junkie type like J JP. I keep wanting to say JT because that's like a more natural to initial name. Ah, oh, JP, it's you. This planet's a trippy place, don't you think? Well, when you got folks coming over here from all around the galaxy, what'd you expect? Wish someone would teach them some customer service skills, but other than that, how was the landing? You holding up? Uh, yeah, I guess. Still trying sure to recover you from are. your crash. I got this here case from, from Frisbee and it's stuffed with cash. Yeah, it's money for the Trans Am. I remember back in the day, even if he was in the middle of something, he'd drop it to work on your ride. Man, he sure has changed. Yeah, like you, me, and everything else. Fair enough. Things cost more. Hell, even good junk joints are getting harder to find. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Sounds Whoa. like some real shit. You gotta do what you gotta do. So, where's my honey at? Hmm. Oh, for fuck's sake, that thing is still completely wrecked. Yeah, you messed her up real good this time. Didn't even recognize her. You got a death wish or something? Popping two caps of nitro. You could have been vaporized, you dumbass. I'll need three caps of nitro for the red line. Three caps? Whoa, no, hey, no, no, that's the hair gram, huh? Line. This is aces above yellow line, so if we want to do it, we got to step up our game. We're so not ready for this. You want an edge in this race? Then you got to rig some weapons on your machine. Anything goes at red line, you know. Besides, it wouldn't so take he's... much to get you. This ain't a war, Loaded man. It's a race. I don't want any of that dollars. crap bolted to my machine. Folks Interesting. You stupid instead of sweet because of that thick skull. Mm, he's not yeah, pops. Take it. It seemed easy. like it seemed like uh, uh, McLaren also had the same thing. The you want to the competition. You want to play fair, you're either going to get left in the dust, or dead, or... <laughs> Probably dead. Life's overrated. <laughs> what a quote. After 30 years in this business, I still got my mojo. Yeah, well, the training, more than, more than your boy races, does, JP. I in the cash like there's no tomorrow. Yep, I still got my mojo. <laughs> Uh, even for the ladies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Still uh, a horn dog. Oh, yeah. oh, of course you are. <laughs> but seriously, mm -hmm. if you want your stone to stand up to three caps of juice, you're talking about redesigning it from scratch. If you don't want weapons, I won't put them on. But you're still talking new engine, new parts, the works. I wish I could do more, JP. Really do. Hey, Spinwad, you listening to me? I can get Frisbee to do the redesign and tuning. You gotta be shitting me. No, I'm not. <sighs> when was the last time you guys worked together, huh? Come on! Out. He's washed up! He ain't legit! He hands. sold out to the mob! He's no good! Listen, oh. you can't... He does love his smokes. You're talking about the fix. He ain't the same guy anymore. You know that, don't you? Helping some punk kid like you is no biggie. But the guy went out and got himself mixed up with that scum. That is a big deal. Racers and mechanics gotta stick together. We always made a good team, you and me. There he always is. Have always will. <laughs> I was wondering when you were gonna show up. I might be scum, but I'm still a damn good mechanic, and you can take that to the bank. I so bet. Don't go judging a man's skill by his character. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, guy. Your pals teach you skill how to by his character. Around? Shifty bastard. Relax, old man. I'm here because I still got what it takes to do the job. That's all. I bet you do. No one's worried about whether or not you're still sharp. Besides, the old man's cool with it. I didn't say I was cool with anything. Hey, come on. <laughs> you are cool with it. I'll leave you two lovebirds to get to work. Oh, hey, Jesus. where do you think you're going? Like I said, I'm getting out of the way. You're gonna stick a new engine in it, and Frisbee's gonna take care of the redesign and mods. That sounds, sounds like hot. Last behind the wheel, you can bet I'll do my job. Oh, so we then, know it. You'll you'll win the, the red line or probably die it's trying. Like the old days. And the scary thing is, maybe you will die trying. You're so damn cool. He'll probably win, but you never know, honestly. But especially given the fact that he didn't win the other race, even if it was rigged and everything, all the more reason. Why is she so hot? Holy fuck. 
Yeah, I can't stick this art style. It kind of reminds me of JoJo's, but it's still different. Oh yeah, you want some? What the? You scared the hell out of me, fool! What's your problem? Wow. Looks like you got yourself a full house today, Mr. Waiter. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Jerk! And what are you blind? This place is deserted. So just find yourself a table and stop being an asshole, asshole. Okay, I am so sorry about that, madam. I'll make sure he doesn't bother you anymore, so just relax and enjoy your meal. There's your spaghetti that actually... a la Euro Pass lobster stew. Yum. It looks great. I do hope you enjoy it. Thank you, I will. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Seriously, dude? Get a bell. Wow. Oh, oh no, how embarrassing! What's your problem? Oh. I don't have a problem. Seriously, guy, what's the deal? Allow me to introduce myself, ma'am. I'm JP. Jesus. You're not really gonna eat <laughs> Jesus. that, are you? Oh my god. It's still moving. <sighs> Give me a break. So, mind if I join you? Actually, I'm waiting for someone. Oh shit. Yeah, me too. Go figure. Huh? Hang on a sec, I remember you. You're yeah. the guy from Yellow Line. Yeah. yeah, the substitute. You got into Red Line because one of the other racers dropped. <laughs> what? Since we're both going to be in the same race, this is what's called scoping out the competition. Excuse nice. me? She saw everything! I think it's pretty cool you won Yellow Line in that hover engine of yours. I kind of wanted to see for myself whether or not you were just as cool. So, nice. what's the verdict? Verdict? Well, I, uh... I see a girl who's an engine geek and who's got absolutely no interest in men. Bingo, that's right. <laughs> I've always loved fast cars and racing. Ever since Definitely I was a kid, it's all I wanted to do. Yeah, I get it. You pour all your love into cars and don't got any left for people. Guess what? You can go now. I love the music playing too. You know, my dad was a pretty awesome racer. Oh. He owned a junk joint, and when I was a kid, nice. we'd build our own machines and enter them in all kinds of races. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I guess the figures I grew up to turn out like this. Wasting your life away trying to kill yourself? Yes, it is. I'm surprised you know about it. Pretty, huh? My dad gave it to me when I turned seven, and I've been uh -huh. wearing it ever since then. I've heard about the steam light, but I never got to see one till now. No kidding. They say if you pop it in your tank, it releases a hundred times more energy than gold nitro. That is so cool. <laughs> He's like, that's you know, so it's hot. the first time I've ever seen a real steam light myself. It's Damn. an energy source with unlimited capacity. Thing is, nobody can handle that kind of power. Stick that in your tank and it's kablooey. Uh-huh. You sure know a lot about it. Oh, pardon me. My name is Shinkai. Pleased to meet you. Her mechanic? Man. I assume. Um, are you gonna eat that? Hexagonal worm spaghetti is super good. Lots of protein. Would you like to have some? Ooh, goody. Ooh, goody. And could I perhaps have hey. a taste of you as well? Oh, Barney? creeper, creeper. Don't be weird. It's yummy time! He's like, damn, I you know, I want to... for dessert if you hadn't butted in, Mr. Ew. Substitute Racer person. Ew. I prefer backup racer. <laughs> I saw you guys on the news the other day. You know I'm a racer myself, but oh, up you're... until now I was known more for being one of the best mechanics around. Hey, maybe you heard of my partner. His name is Trava. Oh, when does he show up? Apparently right now? Good God! Good God! The trash in the place! Take it outside, assholes! There's Trava. He's your partner? Yeah, the one getting his ass kicked. Oh. Oh. Hey, oh. what the hell's your problem, man? You started it! Damn it! Oh, shit, here come the waterworks. Wow. Damn it! You betrayed the army! Why is the guy kicking Gotta love her about. Oh, that's a little Deja now. We used to be in the army with him. Scary. What does that mean? He starts crying, he gets army. super strong. What a weird group of people, what the hell? Pretty funny though, I'm not gonna lie. I can't believe you're racing on Robo World! Here do you to hurt my feelings a minute! That's bullshit, man. It's, it's the red line. Yeah. Stop lying to me! Damn! Good god! You damn near killed the dude. 
<laughs> what in the fuck? Cool. Trouble can't stay away from this place. That's a big boy. What the hell? Machine head tattooed you live and in person. Machine head, huh? Ask him for his autograph. Oh my god, the song Machine Head! Oh, trash. Why'd you call me? I called you trash, now move. You can't order me around like that, you bully! Look, just get out of my way. See you ordering me around. What? If you're gonna cry about it, I'll just go around you. Nice. Oh, what the fuck? That's what you get when you mess with me! You like that? The hell with the race! Yeah, that he's not amused. He might actually murder you, bro. That's a lot of water. Nice. Nice. Damn, that was really clutch. Helping out your girl here. So much for the oasis. Yeah, that, that oasis just lost all its water. Quite literally. Alright, so the robo-government's here to try and ruin things. Who are they? My guess would be Robo-World's army. It looks like it. That's quite the outfit you got there. You're a hard man to find, little Daisy. Colonel Volta! No one Jesus. gave you permission to leave the base. And I believe I told you to stay put, did I not? Ow. Look what you've gone and done. That's a lot of chips. I don't even know if that's... I assume that's teeth, but... It's a shame you came all this way just to save his sorry ass, but I wonder who's going to save yours. At ease, man. We're not going to stand for this kind of harassment from you. This is a demilitarized zone. I know. So what? Mm -hmm. I said, so what? Are you deaf or something? RoboWorld's armed forces aren't allowed on this planet. <laughs> oh, I'm hearing you loud and clear, Tin Man. But I don't need your permission. I go where I please. Damn. It doesn't matter. I have what I came for. What a and savage. My also, there's so many voices I'm familiar with in this necessary. movie, I feel like. Voltons guys are the meanest of the whole galaxy. Oh yeah, and they ain't fucking around either. Shit's about to get really fucking complicated. We got a race and we got Robo World out here ready to sabotage this shit. The president has decided to grace your stupid race with his magnificent presence. I'm sure you good people will do your best to make the target practice challenging for us. It good God. Before I have your heads hanging on my wall. Hey! Hey, don't do anything stupid. You'll get us all killed! <laughs> Dude, your boys are blocking the vents, and you're stinking up the place with that cheap cigar. Nice. Why don't you split? Hmm. That's tough talk coming from a guy who's got seven guns pointed at his head. Hmm. You know, if we had a couple more, we could have ourselves a oh. Wow, I wanted to hear what joke he was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, I bet that hurt, bro. Like, uh, I don't know what you were expecting. But you should probably be happy that all that happened was you getting knocked the fuck out. You just couldn't resist, could you? Hey, at least you got your cutie that you're gonna race against. Are you gonna be okay? Oh yeah, this is nothing. What were you even thinking? Uh, Astros were getting on my nerves is all. Couldn't help it. Besides, they totally ruined your evening. That wasn't cool, you know? Aww. I guess you're right. Thanks for loaning me your jacket. Now I know why everyone likes to call you Sweet JP. <laughs> it's just a stupid nickname I got stuck with. Cherry Boy Hunter Sonoshi McLaren. Cherry Boy Cherry Hunter? Boy? What the heck? Read the papers? That nickname makes headlines. It's a real eye grabber. God, that's a stupid name. I don't know, kind of fits. <laughs> Cherry Boy Hunter, oh, huh? Cherry Boy Hunter's got a temper. <laughs> I love her outfit. What's like I said, it gives me huge JoJo's vibes, content. her design. Jeez. I don't know what his Can does. I ask you something? I guess so. Why do you do it? 
you know, living the racer's life and stuff. Mm. You first, why do you? Huh? Who, me? I don't know, there's not much to tell. Well then don't go asking me. Damn. Whatever. Yeah, find your answer before you ask for mine. Let's have it. Hmm? Come on, I want to know. No, really, it's... It's not that big a deal or anything. She still wants to know. Really? What the fuck? He's like, I gotta look cool. Now she really wants to know. He's like... Suit yourself, then. Damn. If you're gonna take those bastards on, you're gonna need to bulk up a little bit. Good night, big guy. What the fuck? Good night. That was, like, weirdly seductive. Yeah, I couldn't actually tell if she did that on purpose hey, or accident. I think you dropped this. I would assume it was on accident. It kind of looked on purpose, but yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Oh my god. She's so determined. You're all talking, no action. Damn. All you losers do is sit and watch instead of getting out here with the rest of us. Damn. The backstory. For both of them, actually, it's a double backstory. Because, yeah, there's no doubt that's her because she's got the necklace, the, the super boost, the. I forget what it's called, the something light. determination. Even if she had no chance of winning at that point, she's still gonna finish. <laughs> I bet she doesn't even remember. Oh, she does. I bet she does. And that's gonna come up at the end of the movie. JP. Hmm? Or she's gonna die. Or Listen you're gonna up. die. I'm bad I don't know. I'm not gonna work with that jackass. Hmm. Why? The nut job here says he don't like the engine I got for you. You sure he's on our side? For the last time, this is Redline. We need an engine bigger than what you pulled. A lot bigger. But a man's gotta drive that thing! What are you trying to do? Kill him or something? JP, this weasel's talking about hooking up no. a goddamn TRZ yep. Airmaster! Yep. Bitchin'! No! <laughs> he's a bitchin'! Sure, it's got power, but it's unstable as all hell! <laughs> Four cycle Four TRZ, cycle TRZ Airmaster. Airmaster! All that thing needs is a teeny dose of that old frisbee magic. The hell it does! Anyway, JP's the one who's gonna be driving, or maybe you don't trust he's got what it takes to do it. You're the only one I'm having trouble trusting around here. I mean, to be fair, you gotta go all oh, in for this. Are, huh? Show up with a bag of money, and you think hey, that gives you the right to buck? Just get him what he wants, okay? Huh? You're taking his side? Get him what he needs. You're gonna get yourself killed. Frisbee's in charge of the design, and you're in charge of putting it together. You're supposed to be a team. Fine then, whatever you say, Mr. Teamwork. Yep. Do either of you guys know how long it's gonna take to score one of those monsters? It's your job to get what we need in time for the race. Just get us that engine and I'll handle the rest. Sure, I'll that just sound about my right. fingers. Hey, old man. Come on. Please let me race in his machine. If you're fool enough to do it, then whatever. Yeah, it's why not? Double, though. You're the best. I owe you, man. Yeah, I mean, this is the race of a lifetime. You gotta go all in for it, right? Um Okay, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to pause here. And uh yeah, we're going to continue the movie momentarily, but that was the first kind of half-ish of Redline, probably depending on how long the the end credits are, but um yeah, this movie's incredible. Holy shit, the animation. Wow. Fucking masterpiece of animation. Jesus Christ. I can't even imagine what the red line race is going to be like. Jesus Christ. Because you know they're still holding back their best for that. But holy fucking shit. I mean, the character designs. Mwah, so unique. So badass. 
If this was a fucking series, could you imagine how fucking, like, fucking over this shit would have got? Holy fuck. Of course, you never would have been able to have it be this quality for an actual show, but for one movie... Good God. Um, but yeah, no, this this is this has been wild. I, I'm loving it. So anyways, we're going to jump in to the rest of Redline. I might make another cut just to make it easier. I might maybe, maybe depending on how long before the race starts, I might make a cut like right before the race starts and then do the, the race in the final cut. I don't know exactly, but whatever the case may be, I'll see you guys in a flash with more Redline. Oh man, that's fast. He's watching her. Turnout's a little thin today. Oh, well, you figure the cats that got the cash to spend aren't gonna come out to this dust bowl just to do their test runs. Mm. Yeah, I guess you're right. They'd rather keep it on the down low at the private tracks. Yeah. Sure. Don't worry about it. The engine's gonna be on time. Even if it's not, we'll still make it. Yeah, that's our old man. By the way, I had a little chat with some chips, some beer, I assume. expecting the same kind of deal as the race at Yellow Line. You stay in last place huh. until the third quarter to get your odds rock bottom. Then you make your move in the last quarter. And after hey. that... Hey. Huh? Once I get behind the wheel of the Trans Am, I'm the one in charge, right? Because I'm thinking maybe we can find another way to pay for the engine. <laughs> you might get a spare engine out of it, but not a spare life. At this point in the game, you don't got no choice. We're in this thing together, man. Dodging bullets and potato chip crumbs. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna try and win this thing. Nice. She's a favorite to win, a guaranteed winner for sure. Okay, give me a hundred on four. Okay. How about you? Hey, guys, I want to put down one fifty on Corey Ryder. Really? He always comes in fifth. So what? Can I get fifty on two, please? Come on, lady, you call that a bet? Fifty's good enough. Give me three hundred on Sweet JP. You're betting on a long shot, buddy. Good luck. Out to twenty-five thousand to one. God damn, twenty-five thousand to one, huh? Jesus! Well, let's just murder some folks. On today's program, Good we'll God. take a look at Crab Sonashi. The engine uses yep. a heat source with a minimal uh, exhaust, uh, making it nearly oh, okay, invisible to most heat-seeking missiles. Nice. On a thermograph, you can see how its heat signature has been dampened during thrust. Now it's time to have a look at a missile heat sensor. Nice shot of my ass, guys. Yeah, very nice shot of your ass. Oh <laughs> my! Speaking of, more than ready to take Ooh, on the competition on the big day. That's a shot. She's a very hot. Sonic speed. Ever since his first win at Redline Four, this invincible king of the racers has been the one to beat for the last twenty years. Oh my He's God! He's a cybernetic racer who keeps modifying himself along with his machine, the Godwing. He's the undisputed champion of Redline. <laughs> Godwing. Good evening, racing fans. I'm Machine Head. Ni nice, nice, nice doggy. See, how should I describe myself? I'd say that compared to the other racers, I'm in a totally different league from anyone else. You see, in my case, my machine is part of me, and I am part of it. For the others, it's just me and my wheels, but in my case, I am my wheels. See how that works? Uh. You can't underestimate the competition, though. The royal family's own boy boy and boss boss from Planet Supergrass are back and ready for action. The girls. The not to use magic out of respect for the other racers. And nice. the sponsor, Princess Supergrass, approves. Nice. You gotta love the magic girls. The super boys. The beautiful. The sexy. Super Bowie. Super Bowie. Oh, oh my. Planet Supergrass. The yeah, they're pretty. Uh, whoa. Yeah, I'm not so sure about the sexiest racer bit. Anyway, my name's The music. At least they got underwear on. Huh? I bet they do. Wanna see how I break the ice at parties? I can make all kinds of funny faces. Yeah. Cool, huh? That's actually pretty funny. Oh, what the hell? See, aren't I talented? 
That's much. really hot. She's not the only one who can make funny faces. With her tongue? Ooh, cute. <sighs> now you're creeping me out. Oh, no, that's pretty funny. So what you think? Funny, huh? Hey, princess, we're totally gonna win this. Hmm. Here they are from Planet Supergrass. Topping the charts with their latest single, Zoom <laughs> Gear. Get it now. Also, also singing and dancing. <laughs> nice. I love how they're giving us about these guys, the of the intros of all the, the strongest, fastest drivers. The Mad Brothers, Lynchman and Johnny Boya. Johnny Boya, wow, and the Lynch car. Lynchman and Johnny Boya. Oh my god! Bounty hunters. This is so that. stupid. We always get the bad guys because we're the fastest in the galaxy. I bet. That bastard machine had beat us before, but with our new vehicle, this time's gonna be different. Yeah. That's right. This time it's gonna be payback time. <laughs> hmm. These intros are amazing. I'm loving every single one of them, to be honest. This is fantastic. Best Brawls of Lynchman, Volume 7. Now, Best Brawls of Lynchman, Volume 7. I love how almost all of them are literally advertisements. What the hell? <laughs> Movie company. What the hell? Indeed. She reels right on the money. Looking good. I rigged this test car for you. I dropped the old TRZ Airmaster's engine in. Wow. Nice. Yeah. At least you'll get a feel for what you're in for. Can I take this thing out? Hell yeah. <laughs> Don't overdo it. You're screwed, bro. Whoa, so does she's kicking ass. Oh my god, are you guys gonna start racing? You idiot. What the fuck? What the fuck did you do? Back to the Red Line Network news. After his dramatic crash at Yellow Line, JP's done it again during a test run where his machine reached well over 300 kilometers per hour. Miraculously, JP emerged from the wreckage unhurt. Wow. Nice. Showdown time. What in the world? The day before Yellow Line, Mickey and Todoroki were leading police on a wild chase. Their pursuer, one of the most ruthless cops on the force. Damn. Their machine out of commission. The officer charged the former Blue Line champs and put an end to their reign of vehicular terror. Ah. Huh. Interesting. Avenged Free D, the Dirty Cop, aka Gorilla Boy. Tank. Machine Gorilla Tank. That's a really cool. Their civil rights. What's your reaction to getting a second? Oh, if those cocky racers think they can challenge me and win, it almost gives me a Hellboy vibe a little bit. But blue. As a police officer, you're supposed to set a moral example. Oh, Damn, that's a hottie back there, though. There is there about you and Ms. Yang Su? Oh, Ms. Yang Su, huh? The two you're currently involved in a relationship. Yeah. Hey, from the shiny I hope they, they are. Well, well maybe, maybe I don't. I don't know. Miki and Todoroki, huh? I don't know. They don't seem like charisma types, yeah. What the fuck? Is that a banana? What in the Rider, you Oh! Okay, well that's gonna end that broadcast. There it is, Holy JP. shit! It doesn't get any better. That block's got cylinders with 80 millimeter fours and puts out 35,000. I love how there's a bunch of it's guns a behind them. Engine, baby. Now you're not. Huh? I can't believe we got it. Didn't think I could pull it off, did ya? It's an awesome engine with a hell of a lot of power. How are we going to make it work? to get it in the can, Frisbee. I'll have this sucker in the Trans Am of the morning. With a beefed up stove, it's good for three loads. Mm. That sounds so gross, but yeah. <laughs> hey, don't worry. I'm putting my reputation on the line here, so you can be sure I'm going to deliver the goods. Mm. The fuck? Mm. It's gonna be more RoboCop shit. What on earth? Looks like there's Fireworks. a free race party happening down on Robo World tonight. I bet I know who's gonna be there. Hey, it's late. Where are you going? Going out. Ah, what the hell's that kid up to, huh? With the big race tomorrow, he should be resting up, right? Yeah, yeah. Huh? Guess I'm done here. <sighs> Huh. Don't rig him to lose. The 
walls are Cosmo Titanium, 800 millimeters thick. Fire the shot break. Right. God damn. That actually really sick. Police. You are trespassing and are under arrest. Come down from there immediately and surrender. You better get out of the way, or we'll blow you to pieces. Hostile intent detected. Oh, yeah. You will surrender at once. Over my dead nice. I think you guys are going to die. You guys keep unloading on that thing till it blows. Yeah. Bastard. That's enough out of you. <laughs> you idiot. Wow, that might actually have backfired on them. Well, that what actually happened? The base has temporarily switched over to auxiliary power. By my guess, our main power station was attacked, probably by a band of disgruntled workers. Our large-scale weapons will be disabled, at least until the power is restored. To hell with them! Oh my god, this music, yeah, what the hell? Not to worry. If anyone dares enter our atmosphere, we have a secret weapon to deal with them. For the past few years, we've been developing a contingency for just such an emergency. It's an armed satellite that's solar powered and you will absolutely love the name we've chosen. The Hyper Disintegrator Cannon. Look, isn't it lovely? <laughs> Well, the Hyper Disintegrator Cannon is going to mean something. What the hey, hell? Lynch man. What? Just wondering. Yeah, how come what the is that shit? Why does it look so gross? If the hyper disintegrated cannon blasts everything to hell, there won't be any race. That means no betting. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, no race means no betting means not <sighs> much money. Like it if there was no betting. Yeah, no, that's how they make all the money. Oh, I bet. Uh -huh. Enough to buy out a couple of planets. Oh, Jesus. Wow. And think about all the publicity Red Light's gonna get because of this stunt. Their odds will go through the roof and so will their profit margins. It's brilliant. Brilliant! <laughs> yeah, it's brilliant. like a living satellite cannon. So, is this thing our target for today? You know it, little buddy. You two are... Probably going to be fucked, but who knows, honestly. The world's main power station was attacked by pro redline guerrillas. Apparently, the terrorists were hired help from various parts of the galaxy. Interesting. Such an interesting As a political of the average, situation. Red Line's racers don't have to worry about any ground to air strikes during the race. However, Robo World officials have other ways to stop them. According to government sources, the attack on the station occurred late last night. When Robo Police arrived on the scene, they were... Damn that. Huh. Huh. That's really sweet. God, this guy just loves to go fast. And that's at the core of every racer, their thrills. What the fuck, you idiot. You fucking idiot. Oh, uh, the, them growing up together and What's everything they went through, yep. JP? Did what? Weird name. I'm Sonashi. Sonashi? You idiot. Well, you are so fucking lucky. What the fuck is wrong with you? He's just destined to crash. He's probably gonna, even if he wins, he'll probably crash across the finish line. What the fuck? That was. With red line happening tomorrow, the eyes of the galaxy are focused on. That looks very and the brave souls who are good. About to risk their lives, the racers. For this non-stop oh, rally, take yeah, no, on a military training ground. It's the type of thing that I would enjoy but never finish. Take is the key to their survival. I'm really bad Tonight at finishing program, soup things with a lot of red food racers. in them. Tonight, on the eve of the big day, we're featuring JP, who qualified only because another racer bowed out of the competition. Just like Lynchman, notorious for his rough play on and off the track, JP has a dark past of his own. According to our research, the man with the nickname Sweet JP was involved in various race-fixing schemes. His chief mechanic also took part in the illegal activities and is known to be connected to elements within the criminal underworld. The race line is an event eagerly anticipated by fans mm. young and old. Mm. It's the duty of the commissioners of this event to make sure everyone is made aware of it. 
Yeah, before the, the bedding goes so down. Right. going on out there I think there's scout vessels from the planet supergrass sir are you saying oh, that the freaking, of a princess yeah I was gonna right say here. the freaking magicians She'll are coming take she ally herself with red line back it up come on keep going that's so keep interesting going. how like the political keep ramifications going. of a oh, galaxy-wide super a race before taking her that's so there. interesting how there's like political all these like political yeah, applications yeah. in the background of this drill, story right? That are gonna lead into just how insane the race is gonna be. Yep. Oh my god, literal magic dust. What the hell is this? Oh my god. I love the music too. You are talking about pissing on him off even more. That was brilliant, princess. No sweat. Piece of cake. Now just sit back and wait for it to start. I've got a feeling we're gonna win this thing today. Nice suit. I mean, like, nice to just give her a drink. Contestants. The Red Angel Squadron of Planet Supergrass has successfully marked the finish line at Robo World Tower. Oh my god, that's the finish line? Are you kidding me? I guess she made it, huh? Naturally. She's the only one on Supergrass who's allowed to use remote magic. Let's get out there and make huh. her proud. Of course. Hey, good morning, Sonashi. Uh, you mad at me or something? I'm not. But we're rivals now. No such thing as friends on a racetrack, you know? I guess you're right. It's true, to be honest. I mean, what? sometimes you could have teammates, depending on that. Style of racing. The ship will enter the drop zone in three minutes. Good luck out there. Aww. Did you see that transport? It's ship? you imagine it's President. probably gonna come down Let's to those two, line, and maybe one of them's gonna have to save line. the other's life. I don't no, know. We're going under the There's a lot of possibilities the here. The line will be knockout tower, 800 kilometers above it. We detected an energy reading from a hyperdimensional drive. A hyperdimensional drive. <laughs> They're going to violate our airspace using navigational equipment that only exists in theory. The nerve wow. of those vermin. That's pretty funny. I'll teach those red line races a lesson they'll never forget. We'll have to see, bro. Will Secretary you? Titan, arm the disintegrator cannon immediately. Oh boy. Sir. Yo, that, that's really sick. Yo, why is everything in this movie so cool? This movie is like the definition of, of Omega cool. That is so disgusting. That's like some Evangelion shit. That's just gross. I'm probably gonna cut pretty soon. I'm waiting for right when the race is about to start. I'm gonna cut. Hey, are you going to place a bet or what? Not yet. I'm waiting for the final odds to come in. What are you doing? You're supposed to get those things in one bite. Okay, everyone. Last one. Place your bet. Anyone who wants to fight, step up now. There's a minute left, Attention, Redline contestants. T-minus one minute and counting to drop points. Oh, this is going to be epic. Yep, they're all getting ready. They're all gearing up for the race. Getting comfortable or as comfortable as you can be. There's not much room that's left made for comfort in these type of machines. Firing up the hyper disintegrator cannon, sir. And they're about to fire. All right, shit's about to go the fuck down. It's about to get crazy, you know it. And it's about to be time for the red line. I'm really excited. I know this was a shortcut, but with this, we can have the full red line uninterrupted, and we're going to go to the end of the movie. Should be able to get my discussion in there, too. We're going to finish it in the next cut. I am super excited for this. This is going to be great. I'm, I'm curious because I've been building the thing with... Um, God, I keep forgetting her name. She's got a weird name. Everyone's got a weird name in this, but McLaren and JP, they've been building their thing up this whole movie, and now there's a little tension. You know it's going to come down to them, because that's just, that's just, whole, of course it is, and I don't know which one's going to win. I'm 
I don't know. I, and, and yeah, like I get this weird feeling that one of them might protect the other, save their life or some weird shit. I don't know. There's a lot in play here. A lot of possibilities. And I can't wait to watch this race because this movie has been so gorgeous. You know this, the race that the, the namesake of this film is going to live up to its name, for lack of a better term. So let's check it out. Let's check out the actual red line and see how this goes down. I'm ready to finish this movie. I'm so excited for this race. Damn. She wasn't blonde in that picture, but that tells you what all you need to know, really. Yep. Mr. President, would you please put on your light shield? We are now entering the drop zone. We have a reading on the transport ship's hyperdimensional drive. It's made the jump. Bring up the drop point on the monitor. You can fire on them the second they come through. Aye, aye, sir. Man. There are just so many unique designs in this in this movie. You can tell. In so many senses, how much time went to this. Nice. I love the cannon on their asses! Nothing happens. Yep. Yep. What is going on? Why is nothing happening? We have a malfunction. What? That's totally unacceptable! They planned for this. Here comes the drop point. Here comes everyone. Yep. All the different numbers, yeah. This is gonna be so insane. I love how the cars are literally flying in from the fucking heavens here too, which makes it even cooler. Now the fans are losing their minds, what the hell? I love how they have a red line network too. <laughs> Good morning to all the racing fans everywhere. That's After a perfect voice. Is over, we're broadcasting Redline live and uncensored to the whole dang cosmos. Machines live and uncensored, huh? Like donuts and heading straight for Knockout Tower and the start of the race. If you're looking for a long shot, JP's your Huckleberry with his trademark duck tail. His you have twenty-five thousand to twenty-five thousand yep. to one. Yep, just Whoa, under twenty-five thousand to one. You He's got great hair, goaded hair. The corner of the galaxy at Redline, but I don't yep. think anyone's ever modified a car quite like JP. That's a fact. You gotta love that man's dedication to the sport. Yeah, well, either that or that hairstyle's affecting his brain. Allow <laughs> 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 me to introduce myself. I'm the Razzle King, and your announcer. The Razzle King, huh? Your commentator for the day is the former Redline champ, Mr. Minerva Hannes. Is he like the we'll first right champ? Damn, racers. Mr. This is actually really if funny because I I can't even make any comment on the commentary, but um, we already have commentators. Why do you need me? The racers will be approaching from three directions, and I want you to split into three groups to intercept them at each point. Okay, Bolton troops, move out. Yes, sir. Not gonna comment on that salute. What the fuck? What on earth? Freaking Robo Evangelion is actually what this movie is. What the fuck? Ew. That's so gross that I'm here for it. God. That was pretty sick, in multiple senses. I'm ready to get to the race, yeah, let, 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 let's get to the actual red line, here we go. Let's see what Sona she can do, let's see what JP can do, let's see what Machine Head can do. A lot of people going on here. Do I think about a high stakes race? 
Master and Simimaru are right behind. Let's go! Godwing skids out on the strip and immediately goes for the counterattack. So, what you gonna do, Super Bowings? Holy cow, they're blazing away! But they won't nice. stand a chance unless they can make a quick landing. This is so cool. Now, Lynchman's gunning for Crab Sonashi. Will he catch her? Hey, Johnny, fire yeah. the Sidewinder into the Crab Sonashi. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, just straight, just nice counter gunning. And of course, she's in the water, but it is the crab sun as she. I, there's a reason why it's called the crab sun as she. She clearly has a, a thing for being in the water. I'm not sure what kink that is, but it's definitely something. I love it. Taste, <laughs> Taste my rat pool. God, there's so much going on. This is crazy. Holy shit. What a fun movie. Oh, the audio mixing for this is going to be a pain in the ass, though. A lot of movies are, but the movies... Shabby, Colonel Volton, not too shabby. Thank you for the compliment, sir. Uh -huh. Yes, what is it? Oh? I see. Very good, then. Excuse me, Mr. President. Apparently, we have another problem on our hands. What kind of problem? Please have a look. It's the ratings for the Red Line broadcast. 82% of satellites in the M3 Nebula are currently beaming live coverage of Redline to the farthest reaches of the galaxy. In other words, every secret military asset and facility on RoboWorld is in danger of being exposed to our enemies. I want those racers smashed before they reach Zone 7X! They must be stopped before they reach Funky Boy's lair! Funky Boy's lair? He's waking Funky Boy up? He's still a baby after all, and he needs to learn discipline. What in the actual fuck is he talking about? I am so excited. Why is her design so good? Good God. I got something for ya. Nice. So does she putting in her work? I've got wood. Wow, he's getting hard. But Lynch Car and the Trans Am are gonna have to go the long way. I. Oh. Here we go. We haven't really seen much of what uh, the Trans Am's doing with JP. We've been focusing more on Soda She so far. Right behind you, Lynch Man. Yep. It isn't Terry Boy Hunter. Terry Boy <laughs> In your dreams, buddy. I'm gonna hurt you good! Nice. That's all she needed to do. Now we're even, you cocksuckers! <laughs> you play Sada Sheet? Nice. Get it on. Oh my god. I love it. This is so great. Bet you feel sorry for leaving me in the army now. Sir. Yeah, what? We just spotted a moving target five clicks west of here. Oh boy, here we go. Copy. Oh hell yeah. Both intercept the target. Wonder who it's gonna be. Yeah, that's fair. You think you're gonna take me out that easy, you scumbag? I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, he's crying too, wow. Oh, I just gotta whip your sorry ass! In your dreams, you slimy piece of shit! Wow. Oh my god, these three! They're gonna all kill each other. Now, let's check out what JP's up to. He's lagging way behind the others and is just about to get to the dam. 
Well, I think it's just about time for JP to retire. Ah, oh, dear lord, everything's going straight to the shitter. That no good friggin' frisbee. Damn it, JP, what's wrong? Just get her up to speed and you're in the clear. Don't be afraid to use the gold nitro. Son of a... I didn't think I was gonna need it so soon. Oh god, here we go. Oh my god! <laughs> what in the world? What in the world? He's skimming the water! Did you see that? I don't believe it! Look, he's gonna make it! I still don't believe it! That was truly an impressive move! Yeah, but he's That's still ridiculous. way behind the rest. But that'll catch him up a fair bit. Oh, look who it is. You're late, Frisbee. How's our friend doing so far? JP's staying in last place, just like we planned, so his odds stay low. Then, in the last quarter, just like Yellow Line, he'll make his move, get his odds back up, and then, same as last time, he's gonna lose. But Frisbee, what if he wants to win the race? That's gonna cost me a lot of scratch, and that worries me a lot. It wastes me up at night. Can you guarantee that that's gonna happen? You can relax. He's not gonna try anything like that. There won't be any surprises. You have my word. <laughs> I wonder if he's actually going to let him... We'll have to see what happens. I wonder if the boy's going to let him live his dream. In a, in a sense, it was both of their dreams after all, so I wonder. It does it! Time to rock and roll. Oh, here we go. Time for the princess girls. Oh my god, is it them actually... What the hell? Of course. Nice boobs. Oh my god, they're in the boobs. What the hell? What on earth? I love how, damn, nice German suplex, holy shit. I never thought I'd see a robot do a German, Oh, That was hot. What is- What's going on, Big Days and I? Uh, they got two of our plays before I could do anything! Well, you lost a couple of Yeah, plays. you're in trouble. Big deal, use your head, man. Yes, sir. Dr. Sabosa, come in. I'm going to have your ass if you don't stop messing around with those cosplaying rejects from a porno. Cosplaying oh, rejects from a porno? Yes, what are these Little lines? They're so the good. I gave you permission to leave your unit during a fire. Holy fight. shit. I, sorry. Get back in formation and corner the racers at Zone 7X. You guys are under, you under, under you underestimated them. Oh, sir, it's just that I can't, I can't let this butt make a fool out of me. I'd rather oh. die, sir. Now, now, soldier, get a hold of yourself and listen to the following order. You will get your ass back in line with your unit and chase those damn racers to Zone 7X, you copy? That is an order, soldier! I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot follow that order, sir! I have to enter the race, sir! Have you lost your damn mind? You will be court-martialed and executed for going AWOL, soldier! Colonel Volton, I know this is wrong, but I gotta do this! I can win this thing! I know I can! Out of the question, you will turn your vehicle around immediately! Are you just gonna stand there while your men abandon their pose? Not while I have breath left in my body. Attention, soldiers of RoboWorld! I want all units to suit up, scramble, and intercept the racers at Zone 7X! Did you mean all units, or just a couple? When I say all units, that means all! Now move out, God damn it! Holy shit, they're literally sending the everyone. Oh, good lord, here we go. This is gonna be great. Takes the lead in the northern sector, followed by Super Boeings. Gotta love the Super Boeings. Okay, so she's in third. Running and gunning from the central sector, and there's little Dazena hot on his tail. Okay. And there's the mines. Yep, enter the minefield, all right. Faster than the detonators in those mines. But we just got some new footage. Glory riders burrowing like a mole through the topsoil. Wow. The team of Mickey and Todoroki are closing in right behind him. Well, it may be a shortcut, but speed-wise, I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> hey, Todoroki, have we cleared 7X or what? Probably. Let's blow this box down and take those suckers down. Fuck yeah! <laughs> I'm ready when you are. What is wrong with these two? Are you sure waking that thing up is a good idea? Yeah. Funky Boy's the only chance we got against Bolton's troops. It's been sleeping down here for God knows how long. 
And when it wakes oh boy. up, I'm sure it's gonna be pissed. Yeah, apparently I haven't learned discipline yet, so... I can't wait to see whatever the hell Funky Boy is. These two are jacking each other off. Whoa. You idiots. Yahoo! Looks like JP's made it to zone. Whoa! 7X somehow. Oh my god. What's so unbelievable about it? Nice, nice. It literally reacted to it. Where's me? Hmm? You know this is business, right? Yeah, of course I do. God, what a great voice. Very iconic voice for a certain character from a certain very famous shot in anime. Wow! It's a carrier! It looks like Robo World decided to take the air destroyer for a spin! Holy crap! Robo World's gonna do everything they can. Yeah, he's literally sending all of them. I love how his name is Voltod too, it's so funny. We're missing one letter, it would be uh quite fitting too, honestly. I'm waiting for someone to retire. We haven't had any of the racers go out yet. Good God. Okay, time for the Thunderbolt. Rotate 120 degrees. Okay. What in the world? I missed. Yay! There you go. You killed one, you idiot. That should teach those racers a lesson. If any of them survive that attack, I'd be surprised. What do you say? Shall we pull our forces out and call it a day? Mr. President, we are well beyond the point of no return. If we show that scum mercy now, it would be a sign of weakness. Uh, indeed. I love, I love how, I love how the president isn't the real commander. Almost, it's like the two of them are kind of, in a weird way, co-commanders, kind of. Oh shit! That pause screen. What the hell? Oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh Jesus! Yeah, it won't break. Don't stop. Keep firing. Where the bloody hell am I? Ah! Wow. Literally one of the cars. You literally set one of the cars flying into the freaking thing. Funky Boy is about to wreck everything. Hang on, Sonashi. I got gotcha. you. Oh my god, he's gonna put her in his car, huh? And now this... If this wasn't already a race for your life, it somehow is even more of a race for your life. Now we have a giant monster. That's a freaking bioweapon! I thought those things were supposed to be illegal! I, I get the feeling this is something we're not supposed to be seeing. No. What the fuck? Live and uncensored after all! Good god. Good god. Oh my god. Oh my. It just keeps going. Oh, is that Funky Boy? Oh my god. Mr. President, mm -hmm. we can't let Funky Boy run loose like that. He's going to destroy Robo World. If I may, <sighs> sir, if this gets out, we'd be in violation of the peace treaty. We need to find a scapegoat to take the blame for it. If we don't do something fast, we're all going to die! Mr. President, what are we going to do? Mr. President, say something! Sir, the Hyper Disintegrator Cannon is back online. It should be ready to fire as soon as it finishes the charging sequence. You need to make some decision there, Mr. President! Jesus! Aim the cannon at Funky Boy! He's out of control! Yes, sir. 
I mean, you don't really have a, a choice, do you? Target's locked, sir. Ready to fire on your command. One shot. I don't want him to suffer too much. Yes, sir. Standing by. Fire the cannon at Funky Boy! Fire. He's about to get literally nuked from space. The de death laser. Good God. Oh my God. And three lasers converge at one spot. Yeah, hyper disintegration cannon is right. What the fuck? And now it's yeah, I was about to say you're it's about to go kaboom. Excellent! We even took out the racers! Energy discharge complete. Recharge commencing. <gasps> I can't believe this is happening. Are they really dead? I don't believe it! Did you see that? They fired the hyper disintegrator cannon! It looks like they wiped out all the racers! Uh, that little bastard rigged a bomb! <laughs> he protected her. How you doing? You alright? I think so. Hey, you're still alive, you're okay? that's what matters. I'm okay. Damage report. How many planes left? 18, including the ones that got fried. 16 sand bikers from another unit. And the crow jet unit's gone. Copy. It looks like the red line racers aren't too so hot either. Wait for Colonel Volton's order. Roger. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Well, that's not good. Hey, Sonashi, you came all this way to win Redline, didn't you? I only made it halfway, though. Didn't even get to oh see my the god, they can win together. This thing's a little cramped, but it's kind of cozy. We can both go see it. Yeah, but if your machine's too heavy, there's no way you can win this thing. I'm gonna win. We can win this thing together. I promise. Aww. Why not? JP? Before we go, there's something I've been wanting to ask you about. Could you ask me later? Sorta of got a race to win here! No. It's gotta be now or never. Okay, shoot! Don't take this the wrong way, but... Have you ever been busted for fixing a race? Yeah. What happened? It was at the Yellow Max series eight years ago. Mm. The team was in the middle of a really hot winning streak. Yeah, you guys were going in the right direction. We needed a better engine and some parts, so Frisbee decided to hook up with the Mafia to get the money for him. Just so I could race. Anyway, we had an engine and parts, so I entered the race with his life on the line and I lost. Because of that, he owed those guys a ton of cash and he couldn't pay him back. He was in deep with the Inuki gang. The cops set up a sting. They got a hold of Frisbee. He was trapped. That friggin' Frisbee's gonna get JP killed! So you went to prison just to help your friend out of a jam? He risked his life! He believed in me and risked everything he had just so I could race! What else could I do? Sure. What the fuck? I think I know fuck? how you can pay him back. We're gonna win Redline! <laughs> yep. Do you really want to help me do this? Hell yeah. I'm gonna help you. Yeah. Only if you help me get to the finish line. Hell yeah. You got yourself a deal. Oh my god. Yeah, we're the hot people. The hot people deserve to win. Even though they're not the only hot people, but they're not ridiculous. Funky Boy was like, hell no. I didn't know he could regenerate. There must have been a piece left after the blast. I want that bastard dead! Fire the hyper disintegrator cannon and liquefy it! Negative, sir. The cannon takes two hours to recharge. Oof. Well, where in the hell is Volton? Today is a day I never thought I'd get to see. 
Is it ready? It's ready. What Will the I fuck? To control it? Yes, Colonel Bolton. With your skills, you should be able to. You like getting your tentacles on fresh data, don't you, my dear? Very well, then. Proceed. This is weirdly attractive. This guy, this guy was getting very turned on. Why? This is like literally like the weirdest Robo Ava like nonsense ever. This this movie is so weird. It just keeps getting freakier. It's so gross and badass. The power's course. Subarashi. Why is everything in this movie so weird? Good God. Let's get out of here, Shinkai. Okie doke. Yeah, everyone's trying to. Oh my God, a mini. All right, Officer Corey's using his custom rider. Yeah, everyone's got a trick. Yep. Well, some of them do. You know, we really should get going. Is this the machine your friend built? Yep. Mm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, what is happening? This is just getting funnier and funnier. What the fuck? They're literally getting all cozy up in his car. Frisbee, you outdid yourself the way you beefed up this stove. So does she and me are gonna blast off! Oh! What the heck? Oh my god! Oh my god, are they gonna kiss from the, from the... Oh my god, that was so cool. What the world? The animation is just stupid. Oh, what? Jesus Christ. Your friend's doing well. Yeah. It's about time we wrapped up this transaction for today. Now that we're in third place, the odds are looking up, and if those odds will make a nice fat profit, eh, Frisbee? Might as well pop his cork now. Could we please wait until JP's in the lead? <laughs> you promised me you'd give him that, remember? Yeah, well, here's your check for services rendered, and I hope you'll know that's a lot of zeros. Double the usual amount. <laughs> We're running out of time here. I'm paying both you and JP enough money, so what difference does it make when you blow his car? Get it done, or give me the detonator and I'll do it myself! I want to see him do it just this once. He's so close. I want to watch him win for once in his life. <laughs> of course. Sorry about this, Frisbee. Yeah. Nothing personal. We're just doing our job. I don't want to hurt you, kid. Just give me the detonator. Two sons of bitches are gonna have to kill me first. Oh. Suit yourself. You're yep. dead. Oh, Jesus. Oh! Yo! He just blew and there goes his finger. Why are you here, old man? I'm gonna hang on to this, okay? I didn't come here to save your sorry ass. No, I I'm came here for mechanic, JP. So I got to see the race all the way through to the end. The driver, yeah. mechanic, the junk dealer. They're all a part of the same team. Yeah. They're all working together. <laughs> He's got to win this. Okay, so now the, the detonator's out of the equation, so... He's, and he's got one more boost, too. Oh my god, he's helping him drop. It is like, I, I wonder if this is supposed to be a metaphor for sex because it fits all of them. Got the guts to use it this time? Do you? He's got one of those steam lights too? I don't need this to win. I just want to make the race a little more interesting. Oh god. So he's using the steam light. Are they really going to do it? Nitro 
charge. He's the only person to master the steam light. He's gonna try it. He's gonna win again. He's gonna try it. Oh, they're gonna do it. They're really gonna do it. The deal's the deal. I wanna see that finish line. Hell yeah. I mean, what choice do you got? It's either lose or... You idiots. Oh my god! Down to his face. Oh my god. Oh my god! That's some Matrix stuff. What's he think he's doing? He can't handle the car with a steam like quick. He's gonna get himself killed. Chill out. Yeah, yeah, it's so funny. It's like the, the roll that flipped. Goddamn rockabilly poser. Oh my god, everyone's giving everything they can. Oh my god. Everyone's, yeah, everyone's got to hit everything they got left. Nice. They all hit everything they got. Oh my god, it's so cool. Fuck this. They're too fast. The robots are just like, you know what, never mind. The finish line's way up on top of the desk tower. Thing is, no one can climb up the wall to reach it. How's anyone supposed to finish the race? What's gonna happen next? What in the world? What's the plan, princess? Don't worry, keep watching. Oh my god, it's gonna make a path. Oh, oh, whoa! No way! The red line committee's mothership just came out of hyperspace under the desk tower! It's the straightaway to the finish! Oh my god! <laughs> That's so cool! Let's cut back and see who gets there first. Yeah, they're in second. Oh, uh, both of them together. Oh, yeah, you need all four of their hands. Yep. Yeah, they're, you're right behind them. like a bullet and I'm tweaking so hard my teeth is... Yep. They're trying to steal it. I got a goddess on my side. Oh, that's awesome. That's beautiful. Oh, nice dodge. Yep. 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 Into the unknown. Oh, shit. It's... Yo. Reaching the nirvana of speed, the ultimate moment. I see it. They reached beyond what was possible, but he's still got another trick left. JP, you can't beat me. You don't have what it takes to win red line. You he's still got one more pill. He's still got one more regular pill. He's gonna get put the regular pill in on top of the thing. Yep, he's got one more over the red line. He's out of nitro. No, you still have one of the poppers. Oh, he, he, he did the boom on purpose. Whoa! There's been an explosion. JP's engine. Oh my god! Oh, wait, now he's picking up speed. <laughs> you did it on purpose. You want to talk about all in? Wow, that's so, that's great storytelling! That's great storytelling! It's literally two bats out of hell like a freaking rockets. Oh, this is so cool. I think you've already lost, but maybe, maybe not. We'll see. There's nothing left. They're literally gonna go flying across the finish line at like... Oh my god, what in the world? What in the world? What 
the world? It's literally all three of them because none of them are like cars, really. Oh my god. It's the freaking Talladega Nights finish. Which I think came out around a couple of years before. I don't even know! Oh my god. Oh god, I gotta change my pants. What in the world? God, that was, they actually did the freaking. I mean, it was a little different, but they did the Talladega Nights finish. Oh, they're 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 gonna they're gonna fuck on Galaxy Wide TV. <laughs> yeah, those two are like man. See that? It's beautiful. Yeah, there it is. Oh damn! Oh god, I was I was I was half joking. JP. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Are the cameras still rolling? Is it just gonna end like that? <laughs> Love. <laughs> wow. The end. It really did just end like that. That's great. That's great. Are you getting any? Wow. They really ended it like that. That's awesome. I mean, what else needs to be said? That was the credits for the two of them, JP and Shona Sheehan. Here's gonna be everyone else. That's epic. What do I even say? This song's really cool. Holy moly. I don't even know what to say. Good God. You wanna talk about hype? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was Redline. Holy moly. I think I just watched one of my favorite anime films of all time. It's interesting because even though there was a lot of randomness, and like part of what made this movie so charming is so much of it was nonsensical randomness. Like the political nature, literally, uh, the political nonsense of this movie entirely existed just to raise the stakes of the Redline and just to make this even more of a clusterfuck mess. And the entire point of this movie was the studio showing off. It was literally everyone who worked on this project showing off, hey, it, the story was simplistic, but also designed in a way to make as much chaos and nonsense as possible so we could all animate it and show and make just an absolute masterclass piece of art. That's what this was. It was a piece of art, and it was absolutely fucking beautiful. Um, one of the most beautiful things I've ever watched. I, I mean... I mean, especially I mean, especially as far as stuff that's so action packed. I mean, yeah, there weren't fights per se, but I mean, just the racing and all the animation involved in it was so out of this world. It was it was just bonkers. Like that whole movie was on drugs in 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 the be but not in the typical way of just oh like the madness of the plot or you know like the movie was a little hyper, but it wasn't like that type of on drugs. It was just. Everyone was in their bag. That was heart pounding. Um, I, I'm not like that tired, but I I feel it a little bit. I feel the juices. You know, like I want to be fucking JP and Sanashi. I'll take either one. I mean, preferably JP because Sanashi, as he a literal quote from him, you know, he's got a goddess on his side. Um, and, uh, he really did. And that was such a beautiful movie too. Like it just, it all worked so well. And like all of the songs and all the music, like everything was just, it all fit the style that it, it was trying to do. Like everything just matched so well. Everything fit in the way that it was supposed to. It felt like everything in the movie just fell into place and it just made that movie just have so much impact and it just worked in so many different ways and that's what I love so much about it like it really was a special film and I'm really blown away like what a, what a job what a job that everyone who worked on this movie did like what a tremendous piece of art it really was great characters too JP and Shona, uh, Sonashi were awesome great great you know great main lead uh, male and female uh, counterbalance, um, you know, competitors, but also, you know, obviously more than that. And everything that happened with um, all the other people surrounding JP's life, whether it was the stuff with the mafia or 
everything else like it all you know tied in and it wasn't overly complex but there were multiple points of drama and contention to lead to that moment where they won the red line and i love how they just started like making out they started smacking lips probably holding back from doing a lot more and then the movie just ends and i really appreciate that okay is there going to be something else here on the end uh or is my file just have like Oh no, my file actually just ends there. I hate when it does stuff like that. It's always so weird when that happens. Okay. Um, so that was Red Line, like I said. And it's just an absolutely phenomenal film that really just showed off exactly how amazing anime can be, you know, at its peak. Like, that, that was kind of peak anime, or pretty damn close, just as far as just the combination of the spirit of anime because that movie represented in many ways the spirit of anime it was chaotic it was frenetic it was wild the character designs looked like they were damn near out of jojo's or something i mean maybe not quite but per not far off and the energy and passion of this film was just it, it was you could see it in every facet of it obviously the animation is impossible to understate how brilliant it really was but even the other elements of the film really shined i thought the direction was great i thought the just the ridiculousness of the story like it, it managed to use such it, the plot was so basic that they used it to its advantage and they souped it up by just doing ridiculous things that had no business being in the movie but instead of taking away from the movie, they made the movie more fun and enjoyable. And it made you feel like you were in a universe. Like, I, this would be... I would love... And obviously this isn't going to happen for multiple reasons. One, the fact that this came out in 2009. But this would be an awesome universe for, like, a spin-off series that maybe isn't about racing or is about racing. But this would be i would love to see this universe explored in further because you could do things with this universe whether it's it could be about jp and sanashi it could be like d direct sequel stuff but just i would love to see this this concept explored further and that would just be fantastic whether in the form of another movie a series whatever i just think that this this to me screams I wish there was a sequel and it doesn't even have to be as fucking god tier anime made it as that because that was stupid like especially given the fact that it came out you know almost almost 15 years ago now you know 13 years ago or whatever 12 and a half however I don't know when it came out in 09 but in 2009 incredible job by the the animators involved I mean I can't even I can't even fathom it. Like I said, I, I have just enough um, real animation experience to understand like when I'm watching good shit. And usually animation's one of the things that I will give the biggest pass for, partially because I understand how hard it is. And, and, and at, you know, at its core, the thing that I'm most interested in is the story. But I love animation so much. There's a reason why on this channel I like to react to anime, cartoons, animation of any form. It's because... To me, animation is just the, it's the most special form of art. There's nothing to me more special than animation. It is like the thing that just, it speaks to me. And it, it, it's something I'm incredibly passionate about. And if I was better at it, if I, if I, you know, and there's a part of me that still regrets to this day not pursuing animation further. Um, but I'm happy because, because of this channel, because of you guys, you know, it, it turned out in a really weird way, but one way or another, I get to spend, you know, a lot of my free time watching animation and sharing my love of animation with you. And a movie like this reminds me how much I love animation. It reminds me of my shitty, um, of a really shitty final that somehow got like a B plus or A minus or something animation project in my first year animation class. Um, I forget if it was a B plus or A minus, but it was like, it was like somewhere between like an 88 to like a 91. It was like around that score out of 100. So it was actually a good score. I, I don't know how, but it was. Uh, and, and just the idea though is that so much of um, so much of my heart and soul belongs to animation, you know. And and it's one of the reasons why I don't. Okay, I don't know why I need a virus and threat protection update. I'm glad that didn't pop up during the film, but. Um, but so much of my heart and soul 
belongs to animation. It's one of my deepest passions. It's one of those things I've always, you know, wish, you know, there, there's like the certain things in life and it's one of those things. And I always, it's one of those things that, you know, eventually one day if I have a lot of free time, you know, in the future, which, you know, I very well might, depending on how things go. I, it's one of those things that I, I keep telling myself I'm going to pick up at some point. I want to, you know, just as a side project, just, just, just work on those skills because I've always been, I've always struggled with drawing, which is one of the reasons why I have a lot of problem with problems with it. But it's, it really is something I'm so passionate about. There's a reason this channel is so, uh, is animation centric. Like that's what it is. It's an animation reaction channel. And there, there's a few exceptions to the rule that have happened, but the point of the channel is to react to, to animation of various kinds that, are really cool and and this this to me this movie to me is everything that I want out of this channel now 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 obviously like I said I'm very much I have a you know writer's mentality and from a writing perspective there's a lot of stuff that I think you know like this wasn't the tightest like most brilliant story of all time by any stretch but it might have been one of the best animated things I've ever seen especially a freaking hour and a half plus movie. Jesus Christ almighty. Everyone who worked on this will never, ever get enough credit for it. Good freaking Lord. Oh, man. This will probably be a review, but this might be able to go up on YouTube. I mean, I'll probably take a poke at it. I probably won't bother, but... I had an amazing experience with this. I'm so glad I watched it. Like I said, it's going to be a pain in the ass to 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 mix the audio to make this um, you know make the audio balance better for you guys. But I'll, I'll do what I can. I'm usually I'm usually decent at that. More often than not, I can make it good enough. But uh, oh my god, I'm so excited! I am so excited. Like, like, a movie like this just makes me excited to watch more animation. Like, it's, it, again, like, this is why I watch anime. Um, it really is. Like, oh, that was so special. You know, like I said, animation is usually one of those things I don't like to harp on it because I know how difficult it is. It is so freaking hard to make good animation. It is incredibly difficult. I, I you know, I, as difficult as it is to be a good writer, I think it's that much harder to be a good animator. It's the same thing I, um, and I, uh, yeah, it just blows me away how good that was. I'm just, I keep harping on it. I can't, I, I'm trying to like talk again about the things I liked about the story, the, the characters were charming and all that fun stuff, but I can't, I'm still stuck on the animation. That was fucking incredible. That was so much fun. That movie was just so fun. I, uh, that was literally Speed Racer, but like, a million times better. That's literally... I, I can't believe I didn't even make that compare. That's literally what this movie was. So good. So good. Holy fuck. Anyways, I'm just gonna leave it there. I don't think I'm anything very lo logical is gonna come out of my mouth. I'm gonna wash my face, take a few seconds to breathe. I'm gonna study a little bit of AOT. I'm gonna watch an episode of AOT. It's already 2.30 in the morning, so... I got one more reaction to do. I got some editing for a couple videos, this and that, and that'll be great. But holy Jesus Christ, what a freaking episode. What a freaking episode. What a freaking experience. All right. That's going to do it. You can check out the Patreon, Discord down below in the description. You want to vote on movies every month. There's a movie poll. Um, like I said, Encanto um, will probably win. Um, this month, it's in a pretty good lead, but, um, you can vote on the movie polls every month, and there's a Discord server, you can hang out there, but, like, Jesus Christ, like, what the fuck? Holy shit, that was an experience. Oh my god, oh, what a movie. But, uh, anyways, I'm just gonna leave it there. You guys know the drill. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, JPs and... Why have I forgotten her name? McLaren's her last name. Why have I forgotten her name? But uh, regardless, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those of you who have not yet decided, without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. 
Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.